this fairly unprepossessing looking thing is actually a Bairns game. In the 19th century and centuries before that, of course, all toys were homemade and a lot of play was emulative of what the, the Bairns saw every day. So they would typically play, say, with uh, fish bones and seashells if they were playing farms. So smaller shells, like a, like a winkle shell, would be a hen, and a bigger uh, bone, say, for example, the skull of a, of a ling. People were eating ling probably every week. Um, that might be a, a cow when they're playing outdoors. So a lot of the play is imitative in that way. Other things, on the other hand, are more traditional games that make um, uh, about a spectacle. So, for example, one thing that the Bairns used to like doing was to get a, uh, the stalk of a kale plant. Winter time, when it's a bit old and uh, decrepit, I suppose, uh, when the leaves have been cut off and eaten by the people or fed to the sheep, they pull up the kale stalk, cut off the end, and an old one will be rotted through the middle and then you can get a, a glowing uh, or ideally just smoking uh, ember from the fire, a peat and bung this peat in the end of the of the kale stalk and then the other end you blow through it and it makes huge clouds of smoke and this thing unsurprisingly was called the Ricky gun and it was a great way to make yourself unpopular if uh, people are maybe sitting in the house trying to do something and you're outside and you get your Ricky gun at the ready and you come into the butt end here and you you give uh, full full blow to the Ricky gun and it falls the house full of Rick and by the time that people have uh, got up off their chair to chase you away you're probably off into the next house letting loose with the Ricky gun. Uh, this is one of the toys from that category, what you might call a, a toy of spectacle, one of these things that makes noise. Uh, and um, this particular thing is called a snorry bane. Now, snore in Shetland meant um, like, a, like, a, like a roaring noise. Um, it's not snore like sleeping. Snore could be like a very loud wind, could be a snoring wind. Um, and uh, bane was the Shetland name for a bone. And the snorry bane was always made from a particular bone in a pig's foot, in a pig's trotter. So it's the bit above where the, the cleft bit of its foot was, what we call the cliff. Above that is this bone here. And uh, it's got a bit of double twine set into a notch on the bone here. And what the bairns used to do was to put their finger in the, the loop like that and give it a few turns like that, or as many turns as you want really, like so. Hopefully this will work. Usually things done for camera don't work. I'll try it, see if it works. That's the snorry bane.